as it is written, they shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Come on, somebody. He said, they shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Come on, somebody help me this holy cathedral. Somebody who know how to worship. Somebody who know how to touch heaven. He said, listen me, man. They shall come out of Zion at the deliverer and shall turn away on godliness from Jacob of your godliness house. Somebody praise God. I said, the deliverer shall come out of Zion. Somebody praise God. The deliverer, come on, somebody, is not from anywhere else, but the deliverer, what are the God of mighty that we serve? They shall come out of Zion. Somebody show what you do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In writing to the Roman brethren, he exhorted them. Lord God, in chapter 12, in verse 9, he said, Let love be without dissimulation. He said, Avoid that which is evil and that which is good. I'm talking to the church. Yes. Glory. Be kind. Show kindness, Lord. Let your love be with kindness, one towards another. Love your brother, show your brother kindness. And he said, Honor all, preferring none. Let not there be bias or partiality. Ask and exhort you that you love one another, preferring none. Lord, over any, but you prefer all. Somebody let not near be bias or favoritism or partiality. He said, Let there be equality. Let equity and balance be seen in the law that you demonstrate among the body of Christ. Paul says, Don't be slowful in business, don't be lazy, don't be tardy. Lord God in your business, be fear in your business. In your business, approach your business, business like somebody help me here and call it for them. Us this fervent in spirit. Come on, somebody, serve in the Lord. Serve God. Let your spirit be warm. Have a warm spirit. Somebody help me. Have the right spirit as you serve the Lord. I'm talking to the church. And the verse that is my focus. Verse 12 is a rejoice in hope. Uh, a shaking tribulation. Uh, Continue in, in prayer. And so as I see rain on, the Lord God, more of the topic. The Lord can be joyful, be patient, and be and persevere. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. I want to look at my second point. I look through or at my first point that the Christian need to be joyful in hope. I want to look at the Christian must be patient in tribulation. So I praise God. Glory! Oh, don't like me today that God preached this and I said the, 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 the Christian, the born again, the believer, the blood bought, the chosen of God. Must be patient in tribulation. In other words, be patient in your afflictions. Glory! Glory to God. A female can preach it. Yes! 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 In the Christian and the unbelievers need to be patient in tribulation and affliction. Watch this. The Greek word translated tribulation. The Greek word for tribulation carries the idea. It means pressure. So on or somebody. This says it's an impatient under pressure. Impatient in your pressure. And so the English word actually comes from the Latin word tribunal or tribunal. Come on, somebody. Whether tribunal or tribunal, that's a Latin word. And this tribunal was an instrument that was used to crush corn in order to get flour. Somebody praise God. Uh, so then, tribulation. Can I teach you here? Tribulation, having meant the Greek word.
out of that is pressure and the Latin word is trivial which is an instrument used for crushing corn to make flour. So get the idea. Uh, tribulation then refers to events that bring pressure upon your mind and your heart. Come on somebody. So it's an impatient as you go through experience like the situations hallelujah and the events that bring pressure upon your mind pressure upon your heart he said just be patient somebody help me here he said just be patient we tend to get us strong Somebody worship, somebody worship. Uh, 